systems are so damaged. Our nervous system, our organs, our muscular system all hold us prison. When we condition that way, your brain is like a the antenna of remote control that the world holds, forces you in the direction that it wants you to go. Your parents, schools, politicians, priests, they impose these neurotic demands that are completely inhumane, completely against human natural tendencies and expression. They prison you. It's like a mental fucking prison. It's a, it's a mind nervous system prison that shackles down the true human expression that is within you that when you're a baby, come flow, flow so free. But then you talk to shut up. Shut up, don't move. Quiet, hey. It's not that you want to hurt anybody. It's not that you want to do anything bad. You want to just have fun sometimes. You just want to run around and scream and move your head. You want to do flips. You want to jump up and down, but it's in a fucking appropriate. It doesn't work well in the machine. It doesn't work well in the system. You're not being conditioned to do that. So you hold it in. This is where the muscular system becomes the actual physical fucking prison. Your muscles turn into bars and imprison your motility, your ability to express. Because the minute you are subjected to a demand, you have to restrain impulse. What trains impulse? Your fucking muscle. Clench your jaw, you clench your fist, you hold your chest tight, you pull your belly in, you don't breathe deep anymore. You literally hold yourself in prison. Now, in the same way that it's a subtle spiritual imprisonment that's imposed on you, recognize that it's a subtle spiritual imprisonment that you continue to impose on yourself after the bullshit demands have been exposed. One day you need to grow up and realize that none of this is necessary. You can scream, you can yell, you can kick, you can cry, you can laugh, you can fuck, and it's not normal. It's human. But you gotta free yourself. None can emancipate yourself from mental slavery but ourselves. You can't, no one can free you but yourself now. But you have all the inhibition associated with the conditioning so you don't let your body express. You don't let it out of your body. It's uncomfortable, it's embarrassing. What will people think? What will I think? And who is this I that is imposing itself upon your body? What will I think? Look at yourself in the fucking mirror! You can't even look at yourself in the mirror and see the flesh that you are and appreciate it and respect it enough to allow it to express itself! Then you're the fucking gatekeeper! Now you're the prison guard! They did it to you, but now you're doing it to yourself. When I say fuck you and fuck them, it's no longer someone else or them or an outside. The fuck you and fuck them is inside you. They're inside you. So the fuck you is really fuck me. Get this shit out of me. Stop doing it to yourself. You're doing it to yourself. You have to stop. Expression happens in the body. It doesn't happen in the fucking body. You want to talk about shit? You want to write about shit? But think about shit, you're using the prison guard to try to get out of prison. Your body needs to be free. Move your body, shake your body, pound your body, jump your body, kick your body, shake your body, move your body. That's how you break the prison. That's how you break the bar. The bars are your muscular system. Break it, break it, tap it, massage it, shake it. Respect what's coming up here. Seduce it out, spill it out, vomit it out. 
express it out. And underneath you will find beautiful, strong, compassionate, loving, caring, creative being. That is you.